Greetings! Welcome to SeattleHockeyInsider.com. I'm Rob Simpson. It's time for a Simmers Morning Skate with none other than the TV voice of, really, of hockey in the United States, but of the Seattle Kraken, John Forslund. Hello. Hello, Simmer. How are you? I'm great. How about you? I'm good, thanks. Very okay. belated. May I get that in. Very belated happy 2023. And mm. Just because I haven't seen you in a while, mm. I mean, are you kidding me with the road trip? Yeah. Seven and oh, I mean, come on. I, I've never seen anything like it. Um, there, was, there were stops along the way that I thought, okay, this is probably a loss. Yep. I really felt coming off the Edmonton game, going into Toronto, that would be a situation with time zone and travel and their boots against the Kraken boots, How you know, the speed of the game. But, hey, they, they never missed a beat. Okay. Sensational game in Boston. Just one for the ages. Yeah. Not surprising they came back and lost that matinee and then lost the next night yeah. after coming up that trip. But here they are. They correct it. They get a win. And now they've got the Colorado Avalanche coming in. Getting healthier. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they get McKinnon back. They get mm -hmm. Nakushkin back, who had a goal mm -hmm. last night mm -hmm. in Colorado. Still yeah. some missing bodies. But yeah. you can tell the defending champs are like, okay, we got to get this thing going. Yeah, they're in a spot now, playoff spot. I don't think they'll come out now. Yeah. I, I really don't. So, Makar, I guess, is a question mark for this game tonight. He's skating. He's with the team. You had him back there. Byram, Manson, those are defensemen that didn't play in Vancouver. Uh, Nachushkin's missed considerable time. He's back now. He scored a goal in Vancouver. Uh, Darren Helm's been out. You saw last season how great he is in the playoffs. He's a, a veteran support player. So uh, they'll get back to full speed. They'll probably tweak the lineup with a trade near the deadline and maybe get a big name as another piece and uh, look out. You know, really, really great squad. I'm glad you brought that up now that I think about it because, you know, Bull Horvat's name has been out there. They could use a little more depth up the middle. There's no question about it. I don't know if Alex Wenberg's the, the, mm. the complete answer in terms mm. of the way you want things stacked. They could use a body in there. Yeah. Probably could use a little D depth. Yeah. So Ron Francis has a couple of options to look at. Yeah, and I think he wants to go for it. I, I think based on where the team is and uh, the expectations he has for this group, uh, why not? You know, and I think he has, again, like we talked about the last time, last season he accrued draft choices at the trading deadline to put him in a position to kind of do these things. He's got that now. He has prospect depth, which is important. He can do that. All these pieces, if you're going to get involved in a player like that, if we want to fantasize, say this player, it's going to take a prospect. It's going to take high-end draft choices uh, to make the deal and then maybe sign the player. Yep. Uh, Horvat's a little bit different because he's he's not really viewed as a rental. He could be. I don't think he's interested in that. I think he wants to go where he's going to be. So if the Kraken get involved in that, they're rumored to be, then that will be an interesting scenario. Yeah. Just one hypothetical, by the way, Horvat. I'm not suggesting that's uh, you know necessarily the way they go because mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of him the last year and a half, and eh, you know there's just some things. It just depends on how the chemistry fits, right? That's right. That's right. You, don't, he, you don't want to upset the apple cart. What you got going here? No, you, no, you don't. Um, and again, you're going to have to be sure because yeah. if you're you're going to make the deal, unless again it's a rental, which you know, I don't know if they're going to do that. I think if the crack can get involved, in my own opinion. If they get involved in rentals, it's probably going to be for a defenseman, probably somebody with a little bit more abrasion up front, and maybe yep. another center down the order uh, just to add to the depth just in case. But if you're going to make that move for the player we're talking about, then it's probably for the franchise. Right. You're going to have to be right. You're going to have to be right on the deal. And at last thing, just to kind of tuck right into all of that, the plug-and-play thing. You know, Kale Fleury steps in. You know, yeah. they're missing Schultz for yeah. a game or two, whatever it is. Uh, missing Schwartz for a game or two. The two JDs. We get a lot of Jadens and Justins and these, <laughs> these and that's and all that. Uh, but anyway, you, they slide guys in and they perform. Well, Borgen did it last year, yeah. amazingly. He sat around for a long time, almost, a, I think, longer than Fleury did. So yeah. Fleury went about six weeks in his last game. Fantastic, uh, and not an easy situation, uh, obviously, but I think the kid has a skill set. Uh, he's been working hard. I think the coaches do a great job here, making sure that they communicate where players are at so you don't lose them mentally, so that they work hard physically, and all of that uh, goes hand in hand. So he did an outstanding job and will be put to the test tonight. There you go. Did I say JD? I might have meant JS. But anyway, you've got a Jared, you've got a Justin, Just, uh, you've listen, got a... <laughs> Schultz and Schwartz is enough for me. I mean, I have a hard enough time with that when they're on the ice together. So. Oh, my God. 
John Forsland, it's Simmer's Morning Skate. It's the avalanche and the crack, and then this should be a dandy at the Climate Pledge Arena. And uh, thank you very much, John. You're welcome. Anytime. Always a pleasure. Forsy, he's a legend. We'll see you next time. We'll see you later tonight. We'll see you whenever. Cheers.